begin your news on the go with breaking news. Police are picking up the pieces of a car wreck right here in East Syracuse. The call going out just before 6 this morning, just down the street from our studios here on Bridge Street. Two cars colliding right in front of the Chevy Drive Dunkin' Donuts. That's also right near BJ's, a hot spot for gas in the morning. So heads up if you are headed out that way. When our photographer got to the scene, one car was on its side. The other had a crushed hood. It's unclear if anyone was hurt. In Brewerton, a Dad's Day fishing trip ended in tragedy when 44-year-old Anthony Davis from Clay jumped off a pier into Oneida Lake to get his keys. As he was struggling, another man tried to save him. Both men had to be rescued. Davis was pronounced dead at the hospital. Back in Syracuse, we're working to learn the name of a man shot and killed on the south side. Just before 2.30 yesterday morning, officers raced to the Valley Plaza on South Salina Street. Here they found a 30-year-old man shot. He was taken to Upstate where he died. A short time later, a 34-year-old man arrived at Krause who had also been shot, but he is expected to survive. Outside of Syracuse, state police are investigating a deadly crash in Elbridge. Patrick Sheehan from the village of Cayuga died after crashing his SUV on Crossett Road right off East Main Street by the tops. State police say on Saturday evening, the 53-year-old lost control of his car, drove off the road, and struck a ditch, causing the vehicle to go airborne. Some central New York schools are getting ahead of this week's high temperatures. Moments ago, ESM shared their switching to a shortened schedule. There will be no afternoon pre-K today, but tomorrow, all the elementary and middle schools will move to half days. Syracuse City Schools, West Hill, and Central Square are also adjusting to a similar schedule.